We're here at Colton, California with Superintendent Rod Dorn, Los Angeles Service Unit. And we're here to talk about the UP3105 SD40 locomotive that will be donated to the Rail Giants Museum in Pomona, California. So Ed, uh, the day of the trade, the trade with this equipment for the big boy, how will those logistics work? We're going to come out with a, a special hospital train. We'll assemble the donated equipment in its own special consist with additional cars for braking to satisfy air brake rules and federal requirements regarding operating procedures once we get the locomotive out of the museum. So we'll go from here to Bassett, roughly 40 miles, and then we'll operate on the Metro Lane, on the San Gabriel side. And we will operate to the point of cutover, which is just right outside the LA County Fair property line. The track will already be lined over, and we'll position the donated equipment out of the way while we move in and we make a joint on the UP Big Boy, UP 4014. So for the first time in 52 years, that locomotive will come out into the National Rail Network. And we'll come out with that locomotive and we'll clear a point where the donated equipment can come out and it will power itself in to that location. Once that's done, the track will be lined back over and restored and then the big boy will be in its special consist. We'll do a few air tests, we'll get everything out of the way and then we'll move it back to Bassett and we'll work our way here to Colton. Once here at Colton, I understand it needs to stage for several mechanical inspections. Can you describe what needs to be done? We're going to change the oil in the roller bearings, and we're just going to spend a lot of time just kind of doing some, some small little details. It's essentially ready to go where it is. Uh, one of the biggest considerations is, in any public relations move, if you can imagine this, that the best analogy that I've come up with is this is like a zoo having the opportunity to bring back T-Rex. So and I really like that analogy and, and there's going to be so many people that want to witness the history, the historic nature of the big boy going over Cajon Pass, going through Las Vegas, going through all of the route all the way to Salt Lake City and ultimately back to Cheyenne. So what we're doing is we're planning it at a time in which we're going to have the best weather possible and that looks like that's going to be towards spring. So it's likely we'll be here until March and that will give us ample opportunities to do all those mechanical details we talked about. We may want to get it over a pit in the diesel facility, uh, but as it stands now, you only need to change the oil and the differential, if you will, those big housings, the roller bearings. Very good. Well, from an LA service unit standpoint, uh, we're looking forward to working with Ed. There are several crews uh, that have had experience when steam was the primary mode that powered these trains. They will very much want to get involved with moving the big boy. We look forward to being of service to you and your team, and we look forward to bringing the big boy back to life. Behind me, you can see the engine compartment that along with the rest of the locomotive was completely painted and made very nice. The engine compartment is cleaned and repainted as a means of illustrating what a modern diesel locomotive is. We can see the main generator and the 645 diesel engine. In the modern era today, many people can't really relate to a steam locomotive like they can a diesel. So this locomotive will live for many years as part of a nice exhibit to showcase what a modern American diesel locomotive technology is all about.